Okay, I'm filming my screen as we check out the RAM needs, the memory needs of Lightroom. Let's see it pop up. I do have a decently large catalog, not too big. I certainly have much bigger ones. And uh, we're going to test it out with the thing that I do most, so take it for what it means for you. Um, we're going to do some panoramas. So I've already merged quite a few, but I found two of them. Okay, so we're at 610 megabytes right now. I used to have 16 gigabytes on this computer and I just upgraded it. So um, beforehand I had a lot of problems on the panorama merging, especially when it got to 73% something about that number okay so I've got a 10 image panorama and I do have a panorama head so it should make the job easier so we're gonna hit control M and uh, it's gonna be cylindrical I'm sure we'll let it do its thing so it's doing its thing here three gigabytes going up to four Still thinking about the just the first part. Okay, it takes a little while on these larger panoramas. Just to give you an idea, those that are have an interest, I don't see much of this stuff. Oh, well that's awkward. <laughs> Let's try this. Come on. Uh, something's wrong with this one. Let's pause it. Oh, there we go. All right, no, it's it's fine. Okay, just a big multi-row panorama. It's pretty closely done. I'm gonna do a little boundary warp. We're still around four, okay? Yeah, that helped a bit with that boundary warp thing here. In case you were wondering, here's the autocrop. All right, so we're gonna hit merge, and we're gonna check out this and actually what percentage is it done the best way is if we minimize this and we go over here first of all we'll put this next to this and we'll just have this over it so you can see the status 47 percent 10 gigabytes 50 percent so you could see why maybe i had problems with the 16 gigabyte of RAM. It was doing it. It would stop around oh, 20 images. That would be pushing it. 16 was actually kind of slow. And it would start to error and black out my screen at 73%. We're at 25 gigabytes already. Good thing we went to 48, not just 32. 32 is, it looks like it would have uh, done us all right. So it starts to peak. There we are at 73%. That's, boom, that uh, little little patch right there where it went up to 27, right at 73. There's been no blackout. It's starting to go back down. 73 seems to be this weird thing. What just happened there? It blacked out a little bit on, on that portion, huh? Or something changed up. We're still stuck at 73, which just is weird. Must be something going on at 73 that's important in the merging world. Should I pause this? <laughs> I won't pause it so you get a real life feel. I mean, this isn't a super scientific study. This is just a, just a little test. All right. Oh, see, the preview came back after 73 was done. Now we're at 76. Uh, do you really want to see the whole, the whole thing? <laughs> Zoom back in. 76, 79, should I pause it? Going back and forth between giving you a real life perspective or making this video a little bit faster. Come on, why isn't it giving us a percentage anymore? You notice that? See that? I think that's because we're done. 
because all of a sudden it went done. All right, let's go back, open this up. Yay! You know, the interesting thing is, though, we're still at five gigabytes. Remember how it was 700 beforehand? We're still at like four to five gigabytes. Is it because it's still working on this little picture here? Still working on loading it? Still at five gigabytes? Still loading. I wonder when it loads, if it will go back down. Let's give it a look-see. Still, uh, you know, there's a lot of laptops out there that do eight gigabyte. They're eight gigabyte laptops. That's gonna be pretty rough in Lightroom. I've recently got a new laptop and it's 16, which I know what that's like, so. Look at it, it just went up. This got done. And this is just still way up there. Nine gigabytes, what is it doing? It's doing nothing. Why? Why is it still so high? That's crazy, crazy. Someone, uh, someone let me know what's going on. Now let's give it a big test, okay? Let's find uh, this guy, which is a 21. And I will kind of pause this. I will show you, uh, it's 1139. And we're starting it up. Starting it up. The green bar has started. And this is starting to uh, go up a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm going to pause it. Still just creating the preview. Uh, got up to about 17. Alright, it's up. It's up to 16. It's done creating that preview, but why doesn't it go back down from 16 gigabytes? Mind you, I started the computer and the only thing I've opened is Google Chrome and Lightroom. And uh, I mean, we can close down Chrome. Oh, maybe it's not even open. Nope, it wasn't open. But it still says it's open right there. Any case, still at 16. Still happening there. I'm gonna change the projection because I, I I like cylindrical quite a bit. Uh, it's not making the memory move in that case. In case you were wondering. So, uh, I mean, this was a smoothly shot panorama with a panorama really right stuff gimbal head. So it should make the job of Lightroom much easier, in case you're wondering. I mean, and if you know other stuff, throw it into the comments. I don't know everything, we're just checking out a test here. Uh, we are gonna merge, and I'll show you little points from the merging later on. What does it start off, though? Oh, it starts off pretty flat. It actually went down a little bit, once it got up to about 36%. I mean, I assume I talked to you for about a minute of that time, so we're only like maybe two minutes into this whole process. Oh, look at it. 22 almost. Just like 20 seconds later. We're up uh, close to 24. I think we peaked a little bit. Just one minute later. We're up to 28 at 64. It seems to do like stays at 64 and then it stays at 73 for a while. Look at up, up 30 now. I don't think it does much in between, which is weird. Well, excuse me, it does have another step. We get up to 66. And then from 66, it goes to 73. And it peaks again around 30. Then in that 30 ballpark, it just starts to plummet down. It goes up way high, plummets down. I didn't look for that little momentary spike. I wasn't filming it, so I don't know. And then look at that. Then it does this thing again, where even the preview goes bad. And I'm not on Lightroom to show you what that looks like. I could try to open it up by clicking on this. And Lightroom is a black screen. 
and it's uh, and not responding. Can you see that? No. Not responding black screen. And we're at, we should be at uh, 37. If I minimize this again, it's a 73. Sorry, I was dyslexic there for a moment. 3773. Just another little update. It's uh, the memory numbers are moving. This is still 73 and not responding. Now it's 76 with a really small little preview. That's a weird one. Maybe we just need to refresh it. Yep. When it went to 76, it's back to normal. We click on this. It is responding and everything's back. So it's during that 73 period, which sometimes could last uh, maybe even a minute or two. Uh, by the way, here's our time. So started uh, uh, 11.39. We've, we've taken maybe a minute, minute and a half break. We're looking at a, uh, oh, it's done. It is done. It's uh, not responding though. Is it trying to write? Okay, there we go. It's just finishing up the creation of the panorama. Now let's go down here and look for that panorama. There it is. It's, it's a big panorama. If you want to know how big it is, 36,000. 12,000, that's gonna be, what, 500 megapixels? A half a giga pixel? Or isn't it focusing? But that's pretty annoying for everyone. Weird. Okay. And we're back to done at 6.7 gigabytes. Weird, right? Okay. Four kicks. Should we just do a really small one, just a just a small three image panorama, and see what the response is? Since we've done uh, ten, ooh, why did this spike all of a sudden? I didn't do anything. I was just talking about it. It spiked to eight gigabytes. I think we need to wait for it to go back down. I don't know, like a minute or so after, it just went back down to like one. 0.5 gigabytes spiked back up to four in the last 10 20 seconds, but we're gonna give it a shot now. So uh, Control M. This is probably gonna be a, a vertical one So that means we're gonna want to do a Perspective So I'm pretty sure this one's gonna want a perspective projection. Okay, went up to about uh, 6.5 while creating the preview. It is indeed a perspective need. Super well done panorama. Not much else outside the borders. So we're just going to merge this puppy. It jumps a little bit. We'll show you the percentage. Where's the percentage? Is it already done? Nope, there we go. There's the percentage in there. 64, 66, now we're at the 73. 73, this is real time, not gonna pause it this time. Memory needs are much lower. And we're already past 73 without any blackout on the app or the whole entire screen and we're done and the memory drops down pretty low way low much lower than previous to actually uh creating this interesting oh just just a random side note so the memory is pretty stuck at 1.5 then i opened up back the screen and it went up to 2.4 i don't know but it was previously at like, um, you know, five. So we do the whole screen. I am intrigued if the whole screen 
makes that number go up 2.7. It's pretty steady right now, which it wasn't beforehand, which is very interesting. In any case, that's all we got. I, I'm sure there's lots more we can uh, say about memory type stuff. If anyone else does a video like this, uh, tag me in it. I'd love to to see your investigation, I guess. This is just an investigative video. This isn't meant to be uh, teaching, really, or, or short and sweet. This is just dumping information onto YouTube for those that are interested in uh, deciphering it on their own. Well, I mean, you don't have to decipher it all on your own. I could tell you this, that you need more memory if you're going to merge panoramas. And you're going to need more memory than you expect just to having Lightroom. But panoramas for sure. Especially if you get above 10 maybe, like above 9. Okay, thanks for listening. Alright, bye bye